What happens when you don't finish watching this video? This little man out there will put something on your forehead. Don't doubt what you're thinking. R slash ask reddit. You wake up 2 hours late for work. Would you still go? Why or why not? Yep. I'm usually punctual and my boss is not a huge pain in the ass. Also, if I don't go, the clients are more of a pain than my boss and the next day I'd have to overwork myself to catch up on work. Better to show up late than never. Just like periods. Frankly, never is fine with me. Expecting mine in about half a year. Congrats. Late is equals to doghouse. No call no show is equal to fired guy. Nope. My job has a point based attendance policy. Being late less than one hour is half a point. Over an hour is one point. Calling off is also one point. We can call off up to three hours into our shift. After three it is considered a no call no show. Which is worth three points. So no. It isn't worth even going to work by their policy. My old job had a policy where, if you were late then your pay would start at the next 15 minute interval. You get in 9.03. Pay starts 9.15. I was almost never late. Though one day I got in just before my shift. But due to signing in, I wasn't ready to take calls till 9.03. I asked my manager, who was just sitting down himself, if my pay would be affected. Seen as it was the systems that prevented me signing on. He confirmed my pay started at 9.15. So I took off my headset and got my book out. He wasn't happy. Said I should do the job as I'm ready. I told him I would start when my pay did. I already used to get stuck on calls after my shift for no extra pay. No way I'm doing it before. They also deducted pay for any time in the toilet. Yes. I have flexible work hours, and as long as I fulfill my work duty within a month, I'm okay. I want a job like that. I hate going in 9 to 5, just to sit there doing nothing, because I have to work a certain number of hours regardless, if there's any work left to do. Not the OC. But I'm hourly I still need to get 40, if I want my full pay. My boss just gives zero shits, if those hours are worked 9 to 5, 6 to 2, or 12 to 8. Trust me hourly works out in the workers fave more often than salary. Most places see salary as an excuse to just pile on additional work without increasing staffing. For my job, I'd get an official warning if I was 2 hours late. If I didn't show up at all I'd likely get fired. Yeah. 2 hours is a bit ridiculous. If I have an employee no call or no show 30 minute I usually text them to check them. If they went an hour without an answer, I'd call. No answer at that point is a problem. I'd notify HR but nothing official would be done until we reach them one way or another. If at 2 hours they call me and say, oh crap, I slept through my alarm and my ringer was off. I'd ask them to get their ass in gear or let me know if they want to use personal time and take the day. If you're going to be late, be late enough to bring snacks. Funny enough that actually worked for me lol. A couple of jobs ago I was under a lot of stress and was late because of it. My boss just let it slide for a while, but eventually he had to give a warning. Fair enough. I was late the day after the warning because of a medical emergency, but I brought him a coffee. He said, well good. At least if you're going to be late you can be late enough to bring me a coffee. We did eventually talk and we worked out a schedule that was better for me and all was fine but any time I was late after that I'd bring him a coffee. There's this thing in Germany we call Gleetseat. It lets you come and go whenever you want between 7 o'clock and 20 hundred hours. As long as you fulfill your daily target time. So you basically have 13 hours time to get your 7 to 8 hours of work done. Edit. Spelling and wow this blow up lol. That's how my office works. But I'm in the US. We don't get a cool name for it though. Edit. Apparently it's called flex time. I've already had like 50 people telling me that. Say something original. I thought it's called flexible work hours. Edit. It's called flex time. I'd still go in. My job is home based and salaried though. As long as I work an hour I get credit for a full day. Back when I was bartending. Same answer. Being late in the service industry is putting your work onto someone else. 
get there so whoever is covering for you can go home or so everyone's workload becomes more manageable. How do I get a home base job where I can work an hour? Shesh I'll quit my job and work for you right now. Yeah, it's still your job. And if you work 8 hour days, you'll still have 6 to go. Maybe you can stay late to make up the time. Regardless, oversleeping is a common screw up. It doesn't mean that you just take the whole day off. You just go in late. I employ about 200 people across a few businesses. For most of those businesses a no call or no show is basically the end. It puts you on the express path to termination. For most of those businesses. Being 2 hours absent. Then calling. Then coming in the rest of your shift or regular days and even recorded by HR or managers. For most of those businesses. Being 2 hours absent. Then calling in and taking a PTO day is just recorded as a PTO day. The same as if you scheduled it. Call. Apologize to your boss. Act professionally. And all will be forgotten with a week's or so. Just act the way you'd want to be treated. I would. I wouldn't rush however. You're already late. Might as well do things right. Take that shower. Have that coffee. And listen to that audio book on the way. Like you're supposed to be late. When you get to work, plan your tasks and go to town on them. Panicking about a bad situation will not change what has happened. Edit. I have crippling anxiety and I usually strive to get places at least 15 minutes early. But if I'm hours late, it'll be like an overdrive of anxiety to the point that I'd be numb. So the calmness for me really is a manifestation of autopilot setting for a normal human. Also gracious ball are platter. Kind stranger. This happens all too often. People wake up late get into a panic then rush to work like every second counts. It doesn't matter. You're already late so why rush? All you're doing is causing more stress in an already stressful situation not to mention creating a dangerous environment for yourself and those around you. Make the call. Sorry I overslept I'm on my way. I'll be there soon. No biggie. Your boss may be perturbed but would rather you be safe than sorry. That's what people who are chronically late don't realize. If you're punctual 99% of the time people don't get mad when you're late. They're usually genuinely worried that something went wrong. And if it was just a mistake, they tend to cut you slack because it isn't consistent behavior. I learned that while working a shitty kitchen job. Woke up like a half hour after my shift and just ran to work. Arrived just as service started, but my boss didn't give a crap he was worried I was dead. Not to mention colleagues that have to make up 4 year absence where applicable. Not applicable to my case, because I have a specialized role in my law firm. If there's any work I leave behind, only I can and have to do it. Yeah so it's shooting yourself in the foot to take time off without planning it. I'm in the same boat. Specialized role. Even holidays can be a problem if I don't do it right. When I wake up on time I still have this dilemma. My friend described it once as, you know those mornings where you wake up and lie in bed and just think, how badly do I need this job, lol. Or when you're on your way to your job and you think, you know, if I just drove into that concrete barrier on the freeway, I wouldn't have to worry about work anymore. I should probably unbuckle my seatbelt first though. Each and every morning I go through the five stages of grief. Denial. Work or school doesn't really matter. In the end, we are all small particles floating around in the universe. If the aliens don't work, neither should I. Anger. Good damn it. I'm gonna have to go. I gotta put food on the table. Think about your future you freak. Bargaining. Okay okay. So I'm going. But if I go every day this week I can skip a day next week. Yep. That's a good deal to me. Depression. But what is the point of this why? Must I work why? Must I learn what are we here on earth for? Cries. Acceptance. Makes cup of coffee and drives to work. No. Flight would be cancelled. And I'd probably be in big trouble. So. Are you an airplane? Yep. I'm typing with my landing gear right now. How many years experience do you have as a pilot? Is the job fulfilling? Is it fun? I'm thinking of going into aviation management and becoming one. Thanks. My company cares if work is done. 
I could be late and do the work done, or I can be on time and don't do the same work. In either case they don't care. When shit isn't done then I get an info that things needs to be done. Have you learned something on what to do when you're late for work? Like and subscribe if you act like a pug life also. Please like and subscribe to get more content like this.